I'm going to show you how you can start from nothing and build a huge rental portfolio utilizing the same money over and over again. Rainy, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And, uh, you know, Holton Wise TV. Uh, for new viewers out there, what we do is we first and foremost provide viewers with a real-life transparent look into the real estate industry. We want to educate you. We want to create a following of educated real estate investors. We do a couple things differently than everybody else. Number one, when I say transparent, man, I mean it, okay? We've been criticized by countless people for how rough, tough, and brash some of our content is. You don't believe me? Check out the Tenants from Hell show. But I think that's important, okay? I think that stuff's important. You guys have to understand and what this business is. I think a lot of other people out there do not give investors anything but a rosy picture of the real estate investment space. And dude, that's just not accurate, okay? I'm in the trenches every day. I'm not just selling courses online. We are a real property management company. We are based out of Cleveland, Ohio. These are our properties you see. These are our tenants. These are our bad stories. Like this is real life, okay? We're dealing with this stuff every single day this is this is what the life is like so if you want to see a true account of what the life is like we are here for you second thing we do different as i said all these things are real we don't just provide you with that education and you know sell you an educational course teaching you theory and then wish you on your way when you go try to do that in the real world we will work with you to do real deals right we're going to actually sell you properties and that is what i'm doing today my investor, his name is Rainey, okay? Rainey, we are trying to hammer down a solid burr deal for you, right? That's how you recycle that same money over and over, folks. Okay, burr, B, buy, R, renovate, R, rent, R, refinance, and the final R is repeat the process, okay? We're going to take distressed inventory, fix it up, Get it to appraise for a price point higher than the acquisition cost and renovation combined. Then we're going to refinance the money back out, and we're going to repeat the process over and over again. That's how folks that don't necessarily have a huge amount of money can build big real estate portfolios because you're stretching those funds as far as possible, okay? But the first thing is to find distressed real estate, which leads me to this deal for you, Rainey. All right, brother, 2117 West 81st, Cleveland 44102, been on the market 34 days. This is a dog of a deal, dog. 69900 that's a problem, okay? We'll go over to photos so you can see, because this house is jacked, bro. This house is freaking jacked, man. These tenants, dude, they destroyed this some bitch, dude. This is great. Oh, man. Now... It's a duplex. You want a duplexes. By the way, a uh, quick word about the neighborhood, right? Yeah, you, know, you said BC, but then you said uh, originally when we, I started working with you, you were like BC, but then yeah, I talked to you like, hey, man, you want to do bird deals, but you know, the biggest thing with bird deals is we need distressed sellers, dude. We need sellers that are having a, just a hell of a time dealing with these properties. So we're going to open things up a little bit to the Metro Health area, Clark Fulton neighborhood, right? Because there's, you know, some sellers getting their asses beat by bad tenants down there, right? And that's where you want to swoop in and make some money, right? And this seller, you know, did a little research on this property as well, as I do all the properties, but some more background for you. And I don't like to always look at the price the sellers paid. I, I think sometimes buyers, they look at the price the seller paid and they try to like, mold their offer around that like oh seller paid x if i offer him this he'll make 5k profit he'll probably do that like a lot of sellers know the value of their property guys so you know 
what they paid for it is irrelevant of the value. In this particular situation, I think it's very relevant, though, right? This guy bought it back in 2018 for 43000 He's trying to list it at 69000 I do not think with the condition that it's in, anyone will pay 69000 I actually see the value at forty k, right? I want you to buy it at forty, and as you see on my my chart here, I got thirty eight grand. I want you to spend renovating it, so we'll be all in for seventy eight. Back to the photos. This is where the the thirty eight grand is gonna go. You know, nothing to see on the outside, but boom, you get into the inside, and and that's where our distressed seller uh, is at. Looks like he just did an eviction. You know, tenants jacked it all up. You know, looks like we got a little poo poo in the toy or in the toilet there. Um, when we uh, get down here, this is this is where it gets really freaking ugly, okay? Uh, you know, this, these are the uh, panel covers to your electric panel. Maybe somebody messed with the electric. Right here, if uh, any of y'all are new to the business, <laughs> this is supposed to be hooked up to a furnace that should be right here. As you can see, there ain't no furnace, okay? And then, of course, the rest of the basement just all nasty and all jacked up, right? So... Uh, what had happened here, right, looks like this guy had evictions, and then either the tenants that left jacked the house up or somebody broke into the house and they jacked it up. So his price point of $69.9 is not realistic. In fact, what he paid for it back in 2018 is closer to what I see the value uh, of this property given everything that's uh, in place. So again, forty k is what I want you to pay. Are you a lender? If so... Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Right? Now, as far as the $38,000, I believe it will cost approximately $28,000 to $30,000 cosmetically to clean up the units, refinish floors, repaint, do the hardwoods, get some nice looking kitchens and baths in this property, vinyl flooring that matches in the kitchens and baths. I think we'll be around 30 G's and then another eight to handle some of the stuff that's messed up, right? I'm no, we have at least one furnace missing, right? Furnaces are three G's, so I don't know if we got to do one or if we got to do two. Got to look into the hot water tanks. Those may have been stolen. I don't know, maybe a little bit of plumbing. So I've got about eight extra thousand dollars to play with in our budget right now. Now, we want to make this offer contingent on your own third-party inspection. As of right now, if we could pick it up at 40 and we're able to do the rehab for approximately 38 k it'd be a good deal. We're all in for 78 right? Of that, what that's going to get us, first and foremost, let's talk about what that's going to get us. Two beds, one bath each unit. So Section 8 tenants will be bringing in 1500 a month, right? Each unit bringing in 750 Of that $1,500, we spend about half of it, right? 752 on average leaves us with an NOI of 748 And that's also accounting for future stuff, right? Future issues, right? If you see in there, I got 75 for repairs and maintenance, 75 for non-pay, and 75 for CapEx, right? So if we're doing like new furnaces now, I'm still accounting for the next time you got to buy new furnaces because I know every 30 years you got to do you know a furnace right and that's three grand right um, as far as vacancy and non-payment right you seen let's let's pull this one picture up dude I just I love these brutalized stuff right like look at this pain man look at the pain ah this is just like some poor some bitch is just like ah this is just crushing some guy's soul right now right I love it part of the game though right happens to me all the time I I feel the same way I'm not just Joying in this man's misery, dude. I, 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 when shit happens like this to my properties, I take that on the chin because that's what we're doing, okay? If you're investing in D-class real estate, you better, you better be down to take one of these situations on the chin because that shit's going to happen to you, man. If you think it's not, don't invest in D-class real estate. Or if you don't want it to, don't invest in D-class real estate. Part of the game. But that's why, brother, we're going to save... 75 for those CapEx, 75 for the vacancy and non-payment, right? When we put Section 8 tenants in there, we are alleviating the risk as much as possible. But the risk is still there that eventually people will not pay rent. It's part of the game. But I want to make that risk as low as humanly possible. So I want that government guaranteed cheddar. But we're still going to save 75 every month. And then repairs and maintenance. I want you to put almost $40,000 into this house. This house is jacked up. I want you to spend a bunch of money. So you're not going to need to do 
a bunch of repairs, you know, in the next, like, subsequent months, right? What that is, we're saving that because eventually your tenant's going to move out, dog. And then you've got to do a couple thousand dollar turnover, part of the game. But we're accounting for that, right? So of the 748 that I'm calling your average NOI, note that, like, those three line items especially are coming home to you right now. But you need to do your job as a diligent investor and understand that those, yes, you're getting that money right now, but that's because bigger bills are going to come down the line, okay? So with all that said, though, right, all in at 78, that makes the deal an 11.5 cap with the work I want to do. I believe we'll get it to appraise for 85K. We do that. Bank gives you back almost 64000 with the fact that after your mortgage, you're still netting around five, six grand a year. That is a 40.4% return on your cash, and you got almost all your cash back, right? You are starting with $100,000. So if you do this deal and everything works out how we're talking, you are going to end up with $86,000 left in the bank to do new deals, and you should be netting passively five to $6,000 every year. That's why bird deals are awesome, right? We're all in for 78. The bank sees a value of 85, right? That's what the game is about, right? Stretching those funds. If you bought a $100,000 house, okay, you have to put down 25%. Doing the Burr strategy, it allows us to be into these deals for any amount. Like, any amount lower than 25% should be considered a win. I mean, that, that's the only way you're going to be able to get a property that's going to generate a cash-on-cash -cash return of approximately 40%, right? If you're traditionally buying them, you ain't touching those numbers, right? So that is what I think we should do. Now, obviously, you know, a few things here, right? Some stuff has to go our way. Number one we got to get that seller back to reality. That dude needs to have a come-to-Jesus moment and realize that his freaking property ain't worth no 69 Ain't going to happen. But it's cool because not only are we going to tell him that by providing him a $40,000 offer, the market's going to tell him that because I do not think someone else is going to pay that. I, Dude, I, I've sold over $200 million of real estate in Cleveland, bro. I know what these things go for. You're going to... If he sells it for 70, he found the biggest sucker in the world, okay? And, uh, you know, if you don't want to be that sucker who overpays by 30K, y'all, make sure you go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search, MLS search and analysis show, and order yourself some shows with me unless you want to be that sucker overpaying 30K. I ain't going to let you do that if you're working with me, right? So outside of some jackass who refuses to work with me and overpays by 30K, there shouldn't be anybody out there who's willing to overpay. So the market is going to tell the seller, yo, your price is messed up. We're going to tell the seller, yo, your price is messed up. And then boom, this right here, dude, just every time he sees this picture, it's just like, ah, it's just a gut punch, right? Just like, well, get me out of this. This is messed up. And we know that the pricing is around that, and that's actually what he paid, so he really won't lose that much money, right? So with all that said, I think we stand a good chance of him coming down. If he declines it now, he may come back to us in the future, okay? And then the other thing is my rehab budget, right? 38 k It's got to go in our favor. When we do this, we're going to make a contingent on inspection. We're going to send the home inspector in there. I'll review the home inspection after it comes out. If I think our 38K budget is going to be blown by anything more than like a grand or so, uh, if it looks obvious to me that we're going to blow apart that budget, right, we will make adjustments, right? We'll go back to the seller like, yo, you know, we made this offer assuming, you know, 38K budget here, contingent on inspection. But uh, these things we didn't know that were uh, discovered during the inspection, you know, as such, we're requesting you give us another 5K off. I could renegotiate at that time, right? Because we got to hit these metrics. We got to hit these numbers or the deal is a dud. But if it all goes our favor, man, it's a solid deal for you, brother. So I thought it would work well for you. Let me know if you want to move forward with this plan of attack. If for some reason you don't, as always, man, give me the feedback. Let me know your thoughts, and I will take it, that all into account. And when I do the next video for you, I will try to gear it even better get more laser focused on exactly what you want everybody else told you earlier holdwise.com property search for sale tab the mls search and analysis show go there click it 
Order a package today to work with me one-on-one -on -one like you see me do at Rainy. You can't buy this property unless you're Rainy, okay? If you're watching this right now, we're a couple months past when this deal actually happened. It's been privately sent to Rainy until the deal went off the market. At that point, and that point only, I release it for free on Holton Wise TV so everybody could learn. Because, again, folks, learning is where it all starts. So if you ain't ready to buy just yet, totally cool. Do yourself a favor and smash. That subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month so for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.